Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I'm Trisha Swenson with Vail Valley Live and it is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and happy Farmer's Market Day. The Vail Farmer's Market and Art Show returns for its 21st year kicking off today. And we're gonna check in with some of the vendors down at the market. They're already setting up this morning. We also have the 37th annual Vail Art Show happening over Lion's Head. The lifts are opening at Vail and Beaver Creek for daily operations a lot of things going on on your june 19th we're going to let you know all about it on today's show Vail valley live starts now it's summer in the mountains it's summer in the mountains it's summer in the mountains and we're out here living it living it living it lots to do lots to see Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. At 7.30. 7.30. It's Vail Valley Live. It's Vail Valley Live. Watch us now. Watch us now. Watch us now. Broadcasting live from 1300 West Haven Drive, Vail, Colorado, the location of the Grand Hyatt at Vail. That's the studios of Vail Valley Live. My name is Ty Diaz. Thanks for tuning in with us this Sunday morning. Father's Day, that's today. Happy Father's Day to you. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot happening on the show. Trisha Swenson shared with you. Going to give you some Father's Day ideas to go with that. And, uh, you know, when holidays like this comes around, I'm sure it has to, a lot to do with getting out, spending time together doing some shopping, and you'll be, you'll be doing all that with us, just getting prepared this Sunday morning. And as we look at sunrise this morning, 537, sunset, 834, starting to see some of those longer days, but the moisture is certainly welcomed around here. We've been picking that up yesterday, late evening, last night, in the forecast for today, as well as a lot of us are making our way towards the water, towards the lakes, toward the reservoirs, the rivers, and noticing how low they are. That's certainly a concern as far as summer has yet to start with us. It begins on Tuesday, the 21st of June, the first day of summer. This is the final weekend of spring, but high temperatures today. We're looking for uh, the mid to upper 60s in contrast of yesterday in the last few days. Areas of Colorado looking around, picked up the triple digits, kind of scattered out throughout this past week. Now a reduced in temperature by at least 10 uh, degrees, but here's what we're looking for today. 66 as our forecasted high at Vail, possible light rain in the afternoon and evening, 70%, 76% chance right there. Our Monday a return of sunshine, and as I always regard it, a little dance with the weather. Tuesday, Wednesday, clouds and temperature fluctuating right there, but it definitely makes for you to stay on your toes and being prepared while you get out and explore nature. And that's our job to help you get outside and feel prepared too. If you have any ideas about preparation and getting outside, Feel free to let us know in our chat feature. There you can correspond with us on YouTube and on Facebook Live, preparing and helping others get prepared to be outside as well. What we're going to do right now, that weather was brought to you by the outlets at Silverthorne Elevated Savings. Check in with Trisha Swenson right now. Is that what you said there, Rachel? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go out to Trisha Swenson. Now, I don't see you wearing one of those umbrella hats and a poncho, Trisha. You, you look nice. You're kind of paired with the sky meets the, the greenery. Ah, there is a hood. I, I did wear a red coat uh, just in case because when I woke up, it was raining outside my door down in Edwards. So I thought, well, I better be prepared. I, I'm wearing a vintage. This is a Tava Mountain Cake rain jacket. Yes, um, that was last weekend. <laughs> when Rosignol was doing summer clothes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I, I am prepared and I've got an umbrella in the car just in case. But Ty, it is a gorgeous morning it out is. here. I've got uh, quite a bit of blue sky. So I think just get out there, plan to do your activities. Yeah, I think we'll have a higher chance of rain in the afternoon, but it's not something that's going to totally ruin your day. In fact, get the activities done this morning and then maybe do a late lunch, uh, a late brunch, or all the Father's Day things that are going on. Ty, already this morning at Leonora Restaurant, as well as Kachina at the Lodge at Vale, they are doing Father's Day brunch with a little barbecue twist. They're going to have some live music over at Kachina starting at 10 a.m. going until 1. Their brunch goes from 7 to 1.30. And then Leonora, they're doing 7 to noon this morning. And then over where you are, over at the Gessner and uh, the restaurant right there at Grand Hyatt Vale, they're going from um, noon to about 2. 
they're going to be doing uh, the tiki grill. They're going to have bourbon tasting. Ooh, with yeah. Bill bourbon. All sorts of fun things. So I know we're going to talk about Father's Day quite a bit during the show, but I, I just wanted people to know, hey, there's already Father's Day celebrations happening right now at Leonora <laughs> and Katina with their brunch, just in case dad is up and he doesn't feel like making breakfast. Now, I know that dad could certainly be out there somewhere, particularly Brazzo. Ran into him in the park yesterday, pride in the park with his family, the baby as well. And I said, he's, he said, they asked if I could do the show this morning. You know, maybe hosting in Beaver Creek. I don't know. You're in Vail. Maybe he would have been in Beaver Creek. But he said he made plans, a treat to himself, Father's Day, a bike ride early this morning. And I said, pull a Ken Hovey and just call in and do like a hit from wherever you are on your bike. So, yeah, dad, some dads are up and out there already. Well, you know what? I bet you if I know brought so that bike is either going to have a motor, like a... Rah, 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 it has a motor on it. I or, saw it. <laughs> or... Or he's going to be riding the lip because Brazzo doesn't like the uphill, but he loves the downhill. Well, I'll tell you what. What I saw in the back of his truck, and I think he was taking off by himself, it was a motorized bike in the back of the truck. That would be Brazzo. Happy Father's Day to Brazzo. Happy Father's Day to you. If you're watching Ville Valley Live, stay close to us. We're going to share with you events around the valley and let you know about the lift times because they're open. This is the first weekend of it, as well as details about the farmer's market, what made headlines, so much more. Stick around. We're for the fashion forward and budget-minded. We've got the brands that set you apart, the style to make you stand out, the looks that let you shine. We are for the dreamers, the doers, and the savers. Outlets at Silverthorne, elevate your savings. Save up to 70% on the best designer brands. Visit outlets at silverthorne.com for current sales and events. Are you ready for summer gardening? Here at Knapp Garden Center, we take pride in our selection of beautiful, hand-picked, perennial, and annual flowers. We also carry a wide variety of delicious vegetables, herbs, bushes, shrubs, trees, soil amendments, and so much more. Our selection is carefully chosen for our altitude, soils, and climate, and reflect the hardiness of the Rocky Mountains. Visit us today at 295 Rule Road in Eagle. Day through Friday, 8 to 5.30 p.m., and weekends from 8 to 4. Knapp Garden Center has everything you need to craft your beautiful outdoor space this summer. Visit Grand Junction. Extraordinary at Beaver Creek. You're watching Villa Valley Live. Thanks for tuning in with us every morning, 7.30 a.m. online, as well as on outside television, Channel 17. Our location, the Grand Hyatt in Vail, that is 1300 West Haven Drive, the home of pride hour which is happening tomorrow at their tiki bar between 3 and 5 p.m the gore creek terrace where you can find 20 percent off drinks proceeds will be donated to the mountain pride organization food and drink specials available 12 dollars. the beach frozen by whispering angel that is a really really good rosé there and there'll be complimentary valet parking for this event right here with the studios of Villa Valley Live located 1300 West Haven Drive. We'll see you here tomorrow between 3 and 5 for Pride Hour. Here's what made headlines in today's newspaper, The Vale Daily. More pride to discuss as well, bursting with pride. In this case, the Pride in the Park Parade through Mountain Pride began Saturday at Nottingham and Avon. This is the third year the Pride in the Park event has taken place. And you can find more photos on page A2, which we will do here in a second. Oh, there you go. Taking a look at these true colors. And there, Pride in the Park welcomes everyone under the rainbow. And 
there was a place where you can check in. There was a welcome desk, a welcome uh, uh, booth, and they gave everyone a number, which I thought was interesting, that you put a little sticky number on yourself, and then you have to find your matching number in the crowd. If you were paired up with your with your special numbered person, the other person, like speed dating in a, in a sense, go back to that special check-in table and win a prize. It was a, an opportunity for everyone to not be a stranger, is what they said at that check-in table, and uh, and to feel welcomed. And as you can see, colorful drag shows. They even have the the uh, fashion show for the for the pups and the doggies. A parade to occlude the event, as well as a DJ finish. And such a huge turnout, I would, I would have to say, uh, compared to previous seasons held in the park, uh, the, this uh, Pride in the Park, this thing was maybe 10 times the size of the previous two seasons. And other topics in today's paper, following Dad's lead, Kate, uh, how Kate Jarneau is carrying on her father's legacy, preparing Eagle County students for successful lives beyond high school. And you can find that story right there on page A3 in today's Vail Daily. And as Trisha shared with you, a lot happening for Father's Day around the valley. And she also covered this topic in today's Arts and Entertainment in today's Vail Daily. Father's Day picks by Trisha Swenson, which include brunch, barbecue, and steak at Leonora, as well as finding brunch with, for dad at Cochina at the Lodge of Vail. Flame at the Four Seasons Resort at Vail, hosting Father's Day dinner, as well as here at the Grand. You'll find a special whiskey tasting with uh, at 2 p.m. There'll be a from noon until 2 p.m. There'll be a Father's Day. Uh, father will receive. Here we go. A Woodenville barrel aged maple syrup to take home. That's a good one right there. Trisha Swenson, let's kind of go into this with you right now. So Father's Day picks. And you put this together, a really good selection, and what a score uh, of some ideas when we need them of where to go for Father's Day, where to take Dad to, remembering that part. <laughs> yeah, you know what, uh, plenty of things to do, even just today alone with the Farmer's Market and art show happening. Uh, we've got the Arts Fair in Lionset as well. And then Humphrey McGee taking the stage tonight, so that could be another option of what you want to do with Dad. If your dad's a music lover, we got a lot of great music, especially coming to the Blar Performing Arts Center. Hey, but Ty, I thought I'd bring it over here so you could see the Shift e-bikes. So these are new this season, and we've got a whole fleet of them from here all the way to Avon. Uh, Alliance Side has some as well. Eagle Vale is gonna have some also. So it's really cool. You basically scan the QR code to unlock the bike and then you pedal it you get a little boost and then you park it correctly in the service area and then you lock and secure the bike with a cable and then you submit a photo just to end the trip so that's how it works <laughs> but pretty cool a nice sweet ride and speaking of a sweet ride let me see if i can take you over here you guys so have you guys heard about the new pegasus bus? i've been wondering about pegasus i've seen it this okay. one is new at the colorado Bye. department of transportation so I just ran into some people that I knew, and I'm like, what are you guys doing? Because they're kind of their backpacks on, yeah. like they were going someplace. They are taking the trek down to Denver today. They're going to stop at Union Station, walk around Denver, check it out, and then they'll take the Pegasus back up. So if you've heard of the Bustang, yes. this is uh, the, the little brother of the Bustang. That's awesome. And it, it makes a couple of stops. So Frisco, Idaho Springs and then federal center uh, the federal center t station and then the denver union station and they said they might even try uh riding from the train all the way out to dia to see how that works because Ooh, wow. that could be a viable option for travel you know commuting getting down to denver not worrying about parking letting someone else do the driving they've got wi-fi on here so i thought it was pretty cool so a couple different ways to get around either the shift e-bikes or <laughs> the new pegasus Motor coach. So Trisha, what's really cool about that Shift e-bike, if you've noticed, and it, everything's very self-explanatory where the bikes are located, and you'll find them all along Highway 6, and it's a really good initiative for locals to get around, new locals to learn and get, a, get around, see more things via bike, but it says on the signage there that your first bike ride is free so that you can check it out. So yeah, yes. follow the steps, and then from there, you'll, you'll really just love the experience of getting around that way, and that would be the e-Shift bike. When it comes to Peg I understand that there's a $50, I think that's a one-way, or is that round trip? Do you, did you get the details on the Pegasus? 
you know what? I didn't get a chance to ask them before they headed up um, out there. So I don't know the prices on that, but I'm sure you could find it online. Yeah, no, I think that's wonderful. And then you mentioned Bustang, which uh, kind of began maybe four seasons ago. And that's $17 from Union Station into the mountains, into Vail, 17 bucks. It stops at Frisco as well. I think it's $23 to get to Glenwood Springs from Denver. And it began as a single direction uh, per day and now has increased its, uh, its transportation throughout the day. So that's kind of awesome. Thank you very much, Richard Swenson, broadcasting live from Vail. Now, how are you getting around? Today is Sunday. I know you want to get Dad somewhere. Let's take a look at traffic. I-70, gorgeous drive, scenic. And I've told my friends, I'm like, hey, take your time driving through the mountains. Yes, wildlife and the whole thing. But the beauty, take in the views. Notice how calm it is for the start of a Sunday morning. But notice how beautiful and green it is throughout that drive. And you'll also notice a lot of changes about I-70 as far as the construction that's going on, upcoming construction this week, Tuesday, Thursday. Be sure to read the signs letting you know about that. But a lot of features to enhance and make driving in and out of the mountains more convenient. You're watching Vail Valley Live. We'll be right back. Just living the fine life, babe. Okay, cool. Gonna block off my calendar. Let me hold that real quick. The best plans are no plans. I need to upgrade my phone anyway. We love our new apartment. Plenty of parking, big closet. There's too much pressure in the bathroom. Hey, good luck with the future in-laws tonight. Don't overthink it. But don't underthink it. Don't talk about your cover band. Don't talk about your fantasy team. Don't talk about your cat. You're going to do great. At least Geico makes bundling our renters and car insurance easy. We do save a lot of money. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Where are you going for dinner? 1987? For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Vale Valley Live is brought to you by Clear Eyes. Your eyes deserve the best. Spring is in the air and so are allergies. Introducing new Clear Eyes Eye Allergy Itch Relief. Its original prescription strength and just one drop a day works in minutes, providing you all day itch relief. Don't let your allergies get in the way this spring. Try new Clear Eyes Allergy. Your eyes deserve the best. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Liv Sotheby's International Realty, Colorado's leading real estate firm. Contact your Vail Valley broker professionals today to help you live the life you love. Welcome back to Vail Valley Live, the show that you are tuning in right now. We appreciate you watching us live, setting the alarm, subscribing to us on Facebook and on YouTube, and interacting with us with your questions. We get to them. We talk about it a lot behind the scenes, too. Rodney Travis says hi. So my mom says hi. Friends in Japan and South Africa, when you're watching, we, we see your messages that you say hi, and we thank you very much for saying hi to us. And that, not that we're going to get back to you live on the show, but we will get back to you. Speaking of getting back, how about to Vail and outside, where I am at 
the Grand Hyatt looking outside right now. Some blue skies, some clouds overhead, and the sun casting on the property. And what a fantastic property it is, too, where you can enjoy Yappy Hour, their pool, their tiki bar, dining, top golf here, getting indoors and outdoors. What do they call it? Hatchet or axe throwing on property. This is a full resort property experience here, but so is being outside up and down the valley, starting the morning off in the mid to upper 40s, 50s. Some showers are in the forecast for today, as you saw there. High temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, 70s. Overnight low temperatures in the lower 40s. Once again, comfortably, maybe that rain will put you in a deep trance sleep or give you a nice lazy evening to just enjoy the sounds with the TV off and just listening to the rain and taking in the weather and noticing it outside as well, bring the dogs in. They're going to get wet out there. So, but Monday, sunshine returns, keeping temperatures cooler than last week this time, mid to upper 60s. Clear throughout the day, Tuesday, Wednesday, clouds roll back into the region. What could that mean? Well, in the mountains, it could mean anything. Our weather changes on us outside of the forecast, and that's really magical for that. Speaking of magic, how about getting out to Vail and to Beaver Creek? This weekend, the lifts open at Vail uh, on Friday. Saturday, yesterday, the lifts began for the summer on Beaver Creek Mountain, and so does returning of big events and shows. Let's start with Beaver Creek events right now. We had Meredith up there enjoying herself yesterday. She detailed for us, gave us a hint of what's being featured at the Villar, and you can catch shows at the Villar right now. Log on to Beaver beavercreek.com to check out the lineup but you'll find complimentary yoga you'll find outdoor fitness in beaver creek billy dorn's fossil passe helmet fricker returns for summer there are the dates the 22nd uh, through the middle of august and then if you want to get details about dining and shows at the villar upcoming events we have fleet foxes at the v pack right there and that's on june 29th and then rolling through july we'll find independence day celebration on the lawn as usual kenny g at the v pack and as far as getting in and out of Beaver Creek, you can use that app, beavercreek.com, to track their free bus system, driving you up and down that three miles to get you in and out of Beaver Creek. We're going to go over to Trisha. You're outside, Trisha, and you're prepared, but you're not the only one at the development. The farmer's market, Colorado's largest farmer's market, returns today for summer. Oh, yes. We are back for the 21st year of the Vail Farmers Market and Art Show, the high country's largest market. Behind me, the folks from Joe's Famous Deli. Oh, yeah. They just unloaded an entire truck with um, <laughs> all their coolers, the grills, everything. I mean, there's quite the production to get things going each morning. So I thought I would just kind of show you the action. And then here I am just right at the base of the stairs of the um, the transportation center. We've got loaded Joe's coffee right behind us, and then oh, yeah. other tents. They're, they're putting up uh, the walls of the tent because I think they're expecting you know a little bit of rain maybe this afternoon. And this market happens rain or shine, so you can see they're, they're putting up uh, the little walls just so they're prepared in case the wind whips on through or a little bit of rain. This goes from 9:30 until 3:30. So it, you're out here for quite a long time, but um, I'm getting hungry, Ty. Uh, and you know what? There's 20 new vendors this year. Wow. So I was talking to Angela Mueller, who puts this on. 20 new vendors, um, including Mountain Mud Ceramics, Street Corn. Uh, you want some Street oh. Corn? That'll be at an Elevated Elite. And then there's uh, Charlie's Texas Barbecue. And then also, just for gift ideas, there's hand-dyed luxury silk scarves. And a uh, flower hound for uh, with some amazing treats from Dang Sweets, Rich Brownies, a lot more. So we've got all that for you today. So if you're looking for lunch, come on down. And if you're looking for some really unique handcrafted items, we're going to have it for you. I think about 150 right around there vendors this year. That's wonderful. So quite a lot. I mean, this valley, again, we're getting back to normal inviting our friends to come out and enjoy themselves get out of here get engaged get married do some shopping enjoy the farmer's market i think the Vail farmer's market is large enough uh, of an event that you should book a hotel and stay and take it all in yeah. because again there's shows like you mentioned there's there's things to do uh people are getting there on their bikes so you're getting out and about you're, you're exerting yourself caleb's catch is one of my big features as far as returning vendors over there i'm a big fan of sipping the whiskey and chasing down palisade peaches over there and enjoying the, the barbecue that like that, that can be found and art and music just so much and it's so vast and again 20 more new vendors this is perhaps one of the apex of a weekend in Vail. It definitely is. And you know, Ty, with the lifts being open too, you could always 
do a hike or a bike ride, maybe do that in the morning and then come and peruse the the area. And, you know, it goes all the way. Here we are between like the covered bridge and mountain house. And then if you go down this way, you go towards Solaris. It goes to the Sun and Help and La Bottega. Oh, yeah. And the bus changed there's a detour for the bus route but you can still catch it and go over to lion's head because ty at lion's head <laughs> we have the 37th annual bill arts festival and i was over at a friend's house for dinner last night mm -hmm. and you know how you're all supposed to bring something well this one couple <laughs> had been at the bill uh, arts festival and they bought this amazing i don't want to call it a charcuterie board because it's so much more <laughs> First of all, the, the board was on a Lazy Susan kind of thing. You put oh, yeah. that in the middle of the table, That's you huge. spin it around. We had smoked salmon, we had shrimp on there, and then there was all these other little attachments that looked like yeah. you could arrange around, and then you put the cocktail sauce, and then you put the other dip, and then you could put the shells over here. It was such a functional piece of had gorgeous wood, handcrafted. So, uh, yeah, very functional items at some of these art shows. Yes, and that's happening right now over, well, actually it kicks off at 9.30 in Lion's Head if you want to catch the Vail Arts Festival that Trisha just told you about. And, of course, purchase something, acquire something, a piece of art that is functional. I'm a fan of the Lazy Susan. And there at the... Arts Festival, you will find and uh, the opportunity to meet some artists, again, have some collectibles, and uh, pick up some original pieces. This is happening at Lions Head Mall, Arabelle Vale Square, and uh, a lot going on. But as we look through the month of June, rolling into the month of July, big events, we just had the GoPro Mountain Games, but are you Terra? Let's take a look. Vale Valley Live is brought to you by Clear Eyes. Your eyes deserve the best. Spring is in the air and so are allergies. Introducing new Clear Eyes Eye Allergy Itch Relief. Its original prescription strength and just one drop a day works in minutes, providing you all day itch relief. Don't let your allergies get in the way this spring. Try new Clear Eyes Allergy. Your eyes deserve the best. We're for the fashion forward and budget minded. We've got the brands that set you apart, the style to make you stand out, the looks that let you shine. We are for the dreamers, the doers, and the savers. Outlets at Silverthorne, elevate your savings. Save up to 70% on the best designer brands. Visit outlets at silverthorne.com for current sales and events. The 82nd Annual Eagle County Fair and Rodeo rides into town July 25th through the 30th. Enjoy thrilling carnival rides daily, along with great food, live music, 4-H exhibits, and more. And of course, nightly PRCA Pro Rodeo action. Friday and Saturday nights kick up your heels with Colorado's own Triple Nickel. Tickets will sell out fast. Get yours online now for the Eagle County Fair and Rodeo.
Experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Outlets at Silverthorne, Elevated Savings. Giving you a look at the weather for the start of your Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you. We're looking for cooler temperatures today than yesterday. We're looking at the mid to upper 50s, 60s, mid 60s in areas of the valley. Overnight low temperatures in the 40s. Chances of showers today. We, they came in last night. Wonderful, dreamy, perhaps promoted you to go to bed early. A lot of events happened yesterday. You were outside all day. It might be today for you that way as well, especially as father and daughter. Let's take a look at some events that you can get into. Sending you back to Nottingham Park in Avon, where you two can tutu. It is Daddy's Girl 222K happening in Harry Nottingham Park. It kicks off in just an hour from now, 9 o'clock until 10 o'clock. You can find your 2-2 experience. It's absolutely free for you to get out. Now, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that's just two of you. I'm just playing off of 2-2. <laughs> Enjoying Harry Nottingham Park today with a Daddy's 2-2 2K, Daddy's Girl 2K. And uh, you can also enjoy that. There's Brunch China with live Bill has some things for you as well going on, and that's some of the events that's going on this Father's Day, sending you back to Harry Nottingham Park for a 222K with, with Dad. What do you think of that? Great idea? Wake him up. Let's get him going. Sending back to Trisha Swenson over at Vale. Vale Farmer's Market kicks off of summer today. Let's meet some of the vendors with Trisha. Take her away. Hey, time. We have a brand new vendor. This is Paige, and she's with Flower Hound. And she's actually right out of gypsum, so she didn't have to travel too far today to do this. But uh, Paige, tell us about Flower Hound. Her, her booth is all set up. It's gorgeous. I had to come and check it out. Thank you so much. So Flower Hound um, is, after my namesake, Ruthie. She's my one and a half year old bloodhound. Um, so she's kind of my muse. She always stops to smell the flowers. So that's kind of how this came to oh, be. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, so today we have, I work with all local Colorado farmers. So today we're really highlighting a, a farm called um, Arrowhead Dahlias. It's up in the front range. So you're going to see a lot of their product here today. And then we also have a, a variety of different house plants. So from all beginners to a more advanced. So there's something for everybody here today. Yeah, I mean, this is so eye-catching. And just the arrangements, you know, very simple, very delicate. Yeah. I want to try to move the camera and so you can just <laughs> kind of see a little bit more of, of what we have. And just beautiful. Yeah. So those are from a farm in Colorado? Yeah, they are. So up in the front range called Arrowhead Dahlias. Okay. Um, so they have these gorgeous peonies, these ranunculus. Um, so they, they're so beautiful. They don't need a ton. So no. nice and simple arrangements is what we're going for today. I love the peonies. Those, those are great. And then this basket down here. Tell so us we about have, that. Um, all of my arrangements are $25. And these are just grab and go bundles. So it just oh. kind of takes the work out of it for you. You can just take them home and enjoy them. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. For Father's Day, maybe get dad some flowers, not just you know, for moms. We've got some party <laughs> plans. I'm sure that dad would love something else to take care of. Okay. <laughs> but. And then also, um, what, what's going on over here? Oh, sure. So these are my aromatherapy shower bundles. So okay. they're eucalyptus. Um, a couple different types of eucalyptus. You just hang them in your shower, and they release aroma with the steam. Wow, those go actually go in your shower. That's yeah, so you just crazy. Hang them right from your shower head, and at, after they dry out, because it's a natural drying process, okay. and then you can just enjoy them in your home somewhere. Wow. Okay, that's neat. I've never knew that. All right, and then um, house plants as well. Okay, uh, I know it, we kind of have a challenge growing plants outside. Yeah. So these babies are all indoor plants. So yes. these are enjoyed by your window. Some of them are low light, so they're low maintenance. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Super sweet. <laughs> Look at this little one. Okay. Come on down to Flower Hound and say hi to Paige, yeah. a brand new vendor right here at the Vale Farmers Market. Sorry for my much, bad Trisha camera Swenson. work. <laughs> yeah, you can, shopping local is so much fun to do, and that's one of the many reasons why we take trips and vacations to another town to source and discover what can be found only there. And maybe you're looking for something like that too, and maybe you're not heading to the Farmers Market today. Maybe you're in Beaver Creek, but still looking for something local. Let's check out Alpine Kind with Charlie. Community, as well as promoting a fun outdoor lifestyle. Hi there, I am joined with Sally January who is the owner of this brand new store Alpine Kind here in the heart of Beaver Creek Village and she's going to show us inside and show us what we have. Come and join us. 
So Sally, tell us, when did you rebrand? Because this was a different store prior to this. Right, well, it's it, the concept is the same. The store has been here for about four years now. Um, but just last week, we rebranded to change our name from Siempre Viva, formerly, to Alpine Kind, which refers to kind of what we do here in our shop, which is supporting our um, mountain community, as well as promoting a fun outdoor lifestyle. I love that. So what was the idea behind the new name? With our growing retail presence here in Beaver Creek and with the impacts of COVID, our um, business model kind of shifted. So um, it was kind of time to rebrand and have a name that's more specific to what we do now. Well, I, I totally love the new name. And tell us what we can find in the store because it looks like you have a selection for men, women, kids, stationery. Correct. Us. So we have so much to offer here in the shop. We have everything from a full hat wall for the whole family, for men, for women. Um, we have an entire kids section. We really focus on gifts that remind our guests of uh, their trip up here to the mountains, as well as supporting um, different artisans that I've met through my retail journey. I love it. I love hats. I have a hat obsession. So yes. I don't find many stores that have a selection like this, so it's fantastic. Yeah, it's really fun to curate um, a selection of different size and styles of hats. When people come up here, I think they forget or don't realize how close we are to the sun, and so it happens to be one of our most popular things in the shop. I love it. And show us the kids section. Yeah, let's I'm go back here. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> yeah. I especially love these hoodies. The Afray all day. These are my favorite hoodies so far. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's lots of fun things. Um, in our kids section, we also tr strive to provide different fun things that um, require the kids to go outside and play. Um, one of my favorite things in the shop is this little solar print kit where they can take it outside and find some nature and make prints of it. So different things like that where if you're visiting and want to keep your kids busy while you're um, staying here, you can come and find something. I love that so yeah. much. And you've got some cute kids hats because I know being a mom, I struggle to find small enough fun hats. So they've got a selection here. Correct. We work with um, several fun local vendors who make all of our hats, including um, Ski Town All Stars and Locale Outdoor. Um, so lots of hats to keep your kids covered up in the sun. I love it. And let's take a quick look at your stationery. Okay, let's go over there. That's a big hit. Yeah, here. it is. I so, mean, it's, you've got everything here. Yeah. If you're looking for a gift for someone, I mean, so these are locally made? Yeah, these are. This is Augustina who lives here in the valley and she has this awesome pixelization art that she does just for us in the shop. And we have Beaver Creek art, as well as we have um, Carrie Calvin, who's out of Eagle, who makes these fun prints. But they've literally got everything for men, women, kids, gifts, stationery, I love. So come and check it out, right by the ice ring in the heart of Beaver Creek, Alpine Kind. Thank you so much, Sally. Thank you. To find a cure for osteoarthritis, why not look to the body's own power to heal? At the Stedman Clinic and Stedman Philippon Research Institute, we're working with the National Institutes of Health to conduct a clinical trial treating osteoarthritis of the knee. To learn how you can participate in this clinical trial, call or visit our website today. The Stedman Clinic and Stedman Philippon Research Institute, the future of orthopedic medicine is here. In the future, we'll travel to incredible places with the help of magical technology. But what about today? I can't wait for what tomorrow will bring. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the ride. Visit Grand Junction. Winter is coming, and you can enjoy every minute with Outside Plus, your membership to the outdoors. Whether you're exploring the backcountry or your local trails, Outside Plus has you covered with expert advice on gear, product discounts, premium access to Outside TV and the Gaia GPS app, and inspiring content delivered from the most respected names in the outdoors. Become an Outside Plus member today to get free tickets and VIP access to this year's Warren Miller film. Join at warrenmiller.com forward slash Outside Plus. 
This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Grand Hyatt Vail, Hyatt's newest luxury resort in Vail. Welcome back to Villa Valley Live. A quick review for those just tuning in with us. Things that are happening today up and down the valley. We'll start with the King of the Mountain Volleyball Open. That's happening all day long. The location is Ford Park Fields at Vail. In that review, Vail Farmer's Market happening. Kicks off at 9.30. Trisha Swenson is walking around right now, making friends and sharing who she meets with us. In that review, you can also find the Vail Arts Festival, 9.30 until 4 o'clock over in Lion's Head. Just looking for some ideas? Catching Sunset Live this evening, 6 until 8 p.m. Harry Nottingham Park in Avon, the Terrace, as well as the 2-2 run, Daddy Daughter 2K, happening at Nottingham Park, 9 o'clock. But is it your job to put evening plans together. How about this one? Six until, uh, beginning at seven o'clock at the Amp at Vail, you can enjoy Umphrey McGee tonight. $55 lawn seating, $65 covered seating. There you can enjoy a jam band experimental of rock, metal, funk, jazz, blues, folk, and more. To find out more about upcoming shows at the Jill Ford Amphitheater, visit their website right there and get your tickets for even tonight's show at GRFA Vail dot com forward slash event forward slash umfreeze dash mcgee keeping you busy here's a look at the weather right now if you're planning the evening portion of the day or the earlier or the mid part of the day sunshine for the start of the day little little father's day brunch are you getting that in do so there's plenty of uh, sunshine to enjoy before the start of brunch and brunch goes until about two o'clock how, how late uh, rachel would you say brunch lasts on a sunday to go till four in your group it with your family on the, on how many how many mimosas? That sounds like fun, too. I started the morning off in the 50s, sunshine with some passing clouds, and we're going to find some chances of showers and spotty activity this afternoon and this evening. High temperatures today, the mid-60s to is what they're calling for. The next couple of days, bringing the sunshine back on our Monday, bringing back summer officially on Tuesday, the first day of summer. That's going to be Tuesday, June 21st, as usual. Clouds overhead for that, but understanding here in Colorado and the mountains, uh, weather patterns certainly could change. But this weekend of all the events and holiday weekend, the last weekend of spring. So if you had a bucket list, get it all in, fit it in uh, right here and today. Now what we're going to do is head over to Trisha Swenson. She has a, yeah? Is, was that a yes? Trisha Swenson, all you. Who'd you, you made a new friend. I did make a new friend. I have Jen Gormley. Gormley. She is with Jen G Studios, and she is setting up her stand right outside of Solaris, and we're going to find out more about this. Uh, Jen, great to meet you this morning. Thank, Thank you. you for taking some time out of your setup. No problem. And tell us how long you've been with the Vail Farmers Market and Art Show. I have been at the Vail Market for, uh, this is my third year here, and I've been making artwork and selling it for over 10 years. Okay, uh, yeah, so she said that she started during uh, 2020, during the pandemic, and we did host the Farmer's Market that year, but it's great to see so many familiar faces back and some new faces as well. But let's talk about what you offer in your booth. Yes, so if you come to my booth, I'm right at the big intersection, and on the wall behind us, these are kitchen towels. They're wood block printed on that flower sack material, so you can wash them and use them, or just hang them for display, and they make really great gifts. New this year is the Vail Ski Area, and I have Keystone Ski Area and a bunch of other ski areas as well. I, um, I love dish towels. Yes, you, know you what? can never have enough. You never have enough. And right. I really, I love having um, my functional ones. Mm -hmm. And then I have my the pretty, pretty ones, ones. Yep. that kind of go on my uh, yeah. my little oven handle. And these and work great for both. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. And I love that you have, you know, all the favorite resorts. Winter mm -hmm. Park, Keystone, Record Ridge. We've got it all here just plain Colorado. Beaver Creek. Last year, everyone asked for Beaver Creek. So, boom, baby, we've got it. Get it while it's hot. We got Beaver Creek. And then, in addition to the dish towels, look at these adorable little t -shirts. We have some for the little people, too. So, little squirrel and Colorado toddler tees with little footprints on the back side. Oh, that's so cute. And then we have matching onesies as well. Here's one of the Little designs too, little raccoons. Yeah, do you need a baby gift? Yes, oh my gosh. Does. This is adorable. Yes. And, and this is so Super soft, soft too. Yep. I'm all about the touchability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The texture, just very, very soft. Yep. Oh my gosh. 
look at that. Look at, I mean, that's a tiny, tiny little like baby. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also will have tote bags with veil on them and other non veil tote bags and then napkins as well. So if you're into the cloth napkin thing, yeah. you've got that. And table runners are brand new this year based on customer requests from last year. So I feel like I've got it all, but I always love feedback from folks. Okay, Genji Studio, and you're going to be here all summer long? Yes, yep, this spot right here, right across from the Roasted Nuts guy. You can smell the cinnamon oh, already. I, you know what? I don't think I could be here because I'd be over there right. getting nuts like every hour. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ty, any questions for Jen? Well, I tell you what, I mean, like, like you're saying, when you think that you have it all, then you realize that there's something else that you might want to go along with that. That is the farmer's market over at Vail. And again, Trisha Swenson is there making friends. And this is the first day of the farmer's market, but not just the farmer's market. You can catch live music. It's an art show. And you can spend all day there. You can enjoy lunch, people watch, and just observe being outside in the sun or whatever whatever the weather brings, what it means in this lifestyle at Vail. And to find out more about the farmer's market and to check out some of the new vendors that are available, visit vailfarmersmarket.com. When we come back, we're going to share with you a little bit more about the lift hours over at Vale and Beaver Creek and more things to do on this day. Jim sunglasses were born on the beaches of Hawaii, designed to respond to the bright sun and harsh glare of the island, all while enhancing the view. After 30 years, we're still independently owned, and the free-thinking Hawaiian spirit that first inspired us is still a part of everything we do. Our polarized plus two lenses not only protect eyes from harmful rays, they also make colors more vivid and contrast crisper. Try in a pair and see for yourself. The view is better from here. When it comes to footwear, I like a little extra support, so I wear Skechers Arch. The Arch shape is has podiatrist certified arch support, plus they look great and they're machine washable. Kick it in Skechers Arch Fit. Xterra, apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit xteraplanet.com today. Enter the promo code CHECK20 at checkout for an extra 20% off regularly priced merchandise. LX600, ready for any arena. You're watching Ville Valley Live and you're wondering to yourself, okay, I know there's a lot to do in and about town, in the village, in the park. It's Father's Day. But what if we want to take Dad up on the mountain? Is that ready yet, Ty? Yeah. Friday, Vale Mountain opened for the season. Scenic gondola and chairlift rides. You can enjoy Gondola 1, proper Vale Village. Make your way up. Enjoy lunch and some hiking, some scenery. Maybe spot any remaining snow at the top of the Gondola 1. Yeah, that's always a cool thing to do. It didn't do walk slightly uphill over to Eagle Bond Gondola number 19. Take a video and outdoor through there. 
weddings, to really ideas, planning, you can to propose to someone, and or a bike ride, bike haul, that's also returned on bail your adventures and experience. If pets are concerned, walking up the mountain, hiking up, you can do with your pets, and then the pets can ride down the gondola, but as far as accessing uphill on the, the gondola with your pets, we're understanding that that is not possible this season. Now with Beaver Creek, when does that open time? Happy to answer that. Yesterday. So now you have access to Beaver Creek Mountain, Centennial 6. That brings you to the area of Spruce Saddle Lodge, outdoor grilling and dining, like healthy options, use outdoor games, and that's right, your favorite hike that you enjoy doing, and that would be the Overlook Trail. I've been asked a lot of questions about getting out to Beaver Lake. That's possible as well. The trails are clearly marked to get you there, but be prepared for doing hikes like that as well. And we're talking about a little bit of research or stopping by the hiking center, especially at Beaver Creek, and getting some information about gear, the hiking shoes, how to be prepared with sunscreen and the right type of snacks, and also a trail map, both Phil and Beaver Creek Mountain, so you can learn your way around and, and document your experience. What's really nice about both mountains along the trailways a lot of information letting you know who lives on the mountain and i'm talking about wildlife and nature and flowers there's some short hikes you can do as well as some longer ones on both vale and beaver creek mountain but the lifts open in range of 9 and 9 30 you might want to check with the ticket office to find out about those times but or watch vale valley live ask me on the show in the chat feature or pay attention to trisha she knows all of this stuff trisha swenson so you're at the farmer's market Great idea to be there making some friends farm to table. There seems like there's some added things going on. Farm to table uh, during the farmer's market July 8th, the 22nd, as well as August 12th and 26th. What does farm to table mean with the farmer's market? I can imagine, but maybe you could tell us. Oh, you know what? This is a really cool dining experience. I've had a chance to do this one time and it, we were set up on the International Bridge, uh, big, long community tables. And then we had uh, various steps that uh, put together different courses. And they were using farm fresh ingredients uh, from that week, bounty, if you will. So if the cherries were in season, they were implemented. The peaches were in season, they were implemented. All the fresh greens. So it was a really cool experience. It was a nice night, but they do have in rain or shine. Uh, so yeah, if you have a chance to do that, they're, they're offered kind of sporadically throughout the summertime. And it's just a neat way to get some ideas on how you can eat, how you can cook, how you can change it up and change it with what's in season. Yeah. You know, don't always what you, you like, get what's in season. And Ty, they're setting up behind us right now. And you can just see the rows and rows oh, yeah. of produce <laughs> that's coming out. And this is a good way to kind of get yourself set up for the week. Come here, do your grocery shopping. Um, and I think Vail Meat and Seafood Company is here too. So, hey, maybe get um, a steak or some fish or some burgers and then get your sides, steam up some vegetables, roast up some vegetables, some little fruit for dessert. Oh, yeah. Pretty healthy way of eating. Today. I've been there for this and I've brought friends, introduced them to the Vail Farmers Market. And yes, you can shop there, but sometimes the person that you're shopping from can give you ideas, like you're saying, on how to prepare the steak, some grilling ideas, some seasonal ideas. And uh, that's what's one of the fun things about the a dining experience and even a farmer's market shopping experience, and that is learning what to do with what you've found. Now, speaking of finding things, you're walking around the village, but what about your hike yesterday, Trisha? Your fans want to know that, that you, know, you were out there, but what was it like for you? Where'd you go? Oh, you know what? Okay, so we did that Overlook Trail that you were saying. I feel bad. I'm, they're, they're trying to drive their cars around here. Hold on a second. <laughs> I've been there before, Let, too. The bus has come through when I've been out there. Yeah. You do have to pick all up the, the tripod, the the tripod and go. <laughs> but we're going to share some of okay. your footage from that hike while you tell yeah. us about it. Go for it. So Overlook Trail, this, this starts right from the base. And um, hold on a second. Okay. Hi, okay. So this starts right from the base. And it goes um, all the way up to Spruce Saddle. And the, the flowers are just starting to pop out right now. Uh, not quite as floral as this shot. This was taken a little bit later in the season last year. But it, Ty, it's just under three miles. And my husband and I were going for time. We wanted to get up there in hour 10, but we didn't quite make it. Um, we got there at hour 17. And this is why they call it the Overlook Trail because Ty, look at this. 
this is where the views come in. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you're in the trees most of it. A lot of shade, which is good on a hot day. That's Grouse Mountain. That's Larkspur. Beautiful. And then right down in that valley, you got Vino's Cabin. So this was just a, a beautiful hike. So we thought, hey, now with the lift open, let's get up there and enjoy some of the, the hikes and then taking the lift back down. Now, right there at the top at Spruce Saddle, you've got your lawn games. They have volleyball. They have cornhole. All those red umbrellas are back up. They've got some barbecue. And then you can hop on the gondola. Now, I always like to ride in the gondola car because it's just a little bit warmer. But I saw, I saw people just riding the actual lift up. You know, they do bike haul as well. So... We've got that for everyone to enjoy. If you want to let the lift do the work instead of your <laughs> legs doing the work. And then plenty of different trails to take on your way down. But, you know, do pay attention to the map, the trail map for bike trails, especially yes. for difficulty level. Because uh, if you think you're going to try that black diamond and you're not used to single track, oh, man, I hope you uh, your clipless pedals are set on the loose setting you might need to click out and put your foot down and walk that bike around or carry it over, you know, some of those routes in the rocks. You got to be ready for it. So you make sure you stick with your ability level on that. Trisha, thank you very much. And that's very true. You can find out all the best advice that you're looking for when it comes to accessing the trails at the base of the gondolas before you begin. If you're doing your hike up, you'll find that special information as well at the top of the gondolas before you drop into your treks and all the trails around Vail and Beaver Creek Mountain for biking and for hiking. Like Trisha Swenson is sharing with you, they are clearly marked, but it always does help to have that map feature from your smart device with you as well. But pay attention to what's in nature and pay attention to who's in your group. We're wrapping up Vail Valley Live here shortly. Stay close to us. We'll be right back. We're for the fashion forward and budget minded. We've got the brands that set you apart, the style to make you stand out, the looks that let you shine. We are for the dreamers, the doers, and the savers. Outlets at Silverthorne, elevate your savings. Save up to 70% on the best designer brands. Visit outlets at silverthorne.com for current sales and events. Are you ready for summer gardening? Here at Knapp Garden Center, we take pride in our selection of beautiful, hand-picked, perennial, and annual flowers. We also carry a wide variety of delicious veggie starters, herbs, bushes, shrubs, trees, soil amendments, and so much more. Our selection is carefully chosen for our altitude, soils, and climate, and reflect the hardiness of the Rocky Mountains. Visit us today at 295 Rule Road in Eagle. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30 p.m., and weekends from 8 to 4. Knapp Garden Center has everything you need to craft your beautiful outdoor space this summer. Visit Grand Junction. Extraordinary at Beaver Creek. All right, it's been a wonderful time spending the morning getting prepared with you and Father's Day and the weekend Sunday fun day, everything included, and taking to the lifts, giving you the information to get you on Vail and Beaver Creek Mountain and to learn that the farmer's market has begun of summer, free shows, a lot going on, and more summer straight ahead. Tuesday kicks everything off. Trisha Swenson, we're going to pull her back in right now with the minute 30 seconds we have. Bravo returns, hot summer nights. Let's get everyone kind of prepared for what to expect. You know what? It's going to be a busy week, and we have great music coming back to the Gerald R. Ford Amphitheater. Humphrey McGee is tonight. It's a ticketed show at 7 p.m. In case you want to bring pops there for Father's Day, listen to a little <laughs> bit of music. 
But then on Tuesday, we have a hot summer nights returning. And this is such a, a summer tradition. And we've got great bands. These are the free shows. So the High Hawks will take the stage this Tuesday. Doors open an hour before the showtime. So showtime's at 6.30. 5.30 is when everything opens. And Ty, you can bring your picnic. You, you cannot bring dogs, but you can bring your picnic. Um, alcohol can be purchased at the venue. And so can burgers and little charcuterie boards and different things. So you can get something to eat when you go there. And then Bravo kicks off on Thursday. We have the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra coming in. And this kicks off a, a long season going all the way until August 4th. So St. Paul Chamber Orchestra will be here um, and then Dallas Symphony gets here on the 29th of June. And then after that, the Philadelphia comes the 8th of July. And then we bring in the New York Philharmonic on the 20th of July. So four great orchestras. A, a lot of other programs happen beyond what they have at the Ford Amphitheater. So whether it's the community concerts, they play at venues all around the valley. So go to uh, bravoville.org for more details on this. Ty, what, what's your favorite? You more a hot summer nights guy? Or is Bravo more your tune? You know, I'm, I'm a bit reckless with a little sophistication, so yeah, I, look, I actually like them both. But as you're watching Vail Valley Live, thank you, Trisha Swenson, sharing with us details over at Vail Village. You can continue to find more with us every morning to get your day and your summer started with us, Vail Valley Live, as we meet you here same time tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Until then, enjoy today. It's summer in the mountains. It's summer in the mountains. It's summer in the mountains. And we're out here living it. Living it. Living it. Lots to do, lots to see. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. At 7.30. 7.30. It's Vail Valley Live. It's Vail Valley Live. Watch us now. Watch us now. Watch us now.